Hey everyone, you're watching Ash on Comics. My name is Ash, and this is the In and Out Weekly Comics Pull List for December 12, 2018. Woo! Aren't you excited? Check out all these number ones that you get to buy. I don't buy them, but you can. I'm sure they're going to be worth a lot of money one day. You know, maybe almost cover price. Defender Silver Surfer, number one. This thing was actually listed like three times under three different names as Defender Silver Surfer, Silver Surfer, colon Defenders, and then Silver Surfer, the best defense. I think it's all the same book. I only listed it once. I'm pretty sure it's the best defense because that's what the, all the other ones are called. We have Doctor Strange, the best defense, number one. And another thing is this had like five or six variant covers. So ridiculous. Like no one knows what the hell the thing is called. People are just buying multiple books. Marvel's just screwing people left and right. Can't even let their fans know. <laughs> people are, might be buying this book because they think it's three different books. <sighs> Doctor Strange, best defense, number one. You know, because there's not enough Doctor Strange right now at Marvel. Mark Wade just, you know, he's doing his best. But we need more than he can deliver. Fantastic Four Wedding Special number one. Because we can't do a wedding in Fantastic Four. We can't have like Fantastic Four number whatever, blah, 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 with a wedding. You know, the way Batman did. We have to make it our own special number one for the wedding. Marvel understands now that they are drowning. And they've decided we're just going to make number ones. People buy number ones in bulk. Because some people are idiots. Not you. Not you guys that watch. Miles Morales, Spider-Man number one. <sighs> Miles Morales is not Spider-Man. Well, yeah, he is, Ash. He's always been spider He was ult ultimate Spider-Man in a completely different Marvel Universe. Where Peter Parker wasn't Spider-Man. But now he's over in the Marvel 616. And Peter Parker is Spider-Man. You have to be some sort of special to steal someone's name. To run around and be like, I'm going to be Spider-Man. Even though there's an actual real Spider-Man who was around before me. I'm just going to poach his name and be him. Any real hero, person with any sort of integrity or moral compass or just ethics, values, whatever you want to say. Would be like, oh, sh I'm not gonna, you're, you're Spider-Man. I'm going to change my name. I'll alter it. You could be Spider-Boy. Spider Kid, Spidey, um, Spider Guy, Spider Dude, the Spider, whatever. Like I would, he would name himself like a <sighs> Star Wars: Age of Republic, Darth Maul. That I could barely squeeze that. <laughs> yeah, your titles are too long. What is Age of Republic? Just, is there any editing over there? Number one, so you know, get it. It's number one, typhoid fever, iron fist. Number, I, I thought this, I for, totally forgot this was still around. There's another example: Marvel doing miniseries, or every issue is number one. They started with this one. We're gonna doing a miniseries of Typhoid Mary. Every issue is number one, so make sure you buy them because they're gonna be worth lots of money. And then we're gonna do this best defense miniseries. And every issue will be number one. So make sure you buy those. They're worth a lot of money. So here you go. Six number ones for your, your pull list this week. All of them more expensive than what's in this box. What is in this box? Oh, you know. You watched the channel before. You know what's coming. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at this bad boy. Mmm. Delicious. Now, my comics. You know what? Before we go on the comics, um, I wanted to thank people. Every Monday, I make this Twitter post about what is Comicsgate. Uh, every Monday, we remind the liars that Comicsgate is actually what it's actually about. Because I started doing this, I think, a few months ago. So I was just getting tired of SJWs constantly being like, you guys are bigots, Comic Skate's about this, and they're just making up lies all over the place what Comic Skate's about. 
And for over a year, this is what it's been about. I mean, longer than that. I credit Zach for sort of solidifying the idea. And this is, there's a history, but I'm not going to go into it right now, what, how I picked these two. And, well, Ashley, who, who are you to say? Well, I didn't really say. It all just comes down to basically what... Of all the 50 things that people want in comics, you know, various people want to comics gate, what are the two things that are on everyone's list? And that's, so it's not me picking, it was just me boiling it down. Um, and this is the things that Zach would always say, and no one ever disagreed. And I think Zach, if anyone has a right to describe something. <gasps> oh, man, hiccuping. Oh, sorry about that. Going on. So, they lie. So I'm saying it to their face constantly as a reminder what we are about. We're against social engineering and propaganda replacing good stories and talent in previously existing comics. Right? We're not against you going out and making your own comic and putting all the social nonsense you want. Go ahead. But you don't get to do that in Spider-Man. You don't get to do that in X-Men, Superman, Batman. You don't, those are previously existing comics that are for the fans that have been that way for decades and decades. We've been paying all that money. You don't own those characters. Your social agenda does not trump my social agenda. Just leave them be, okay? Your job is to entertain fans, and the fans that have given you money have some sort of right to expect that you're going to keep delivering on these properties that aren't yours. Number two, we're against pros acting unprofessionally and showing contempt slash hate for fans. This is a no-brainer. When you're in business, you don't get to act poorly towards your customers. I don't care if customers come and shout in your face, call you names, or whatever. You are professional. Now, if a customer goes completely over the line and you get to the point where you have to call like police or whatever, okay, obviously, there's exceptions. But when someone tweets something at you, Saying your book sucked, and you respond back with, "Oh well, you're just a you know white incel Nazi bigot," you know who you're just like, no, that's, that's so bad. Especially when you're working for the, a big company like Marvel, you, you are now representing this company. I look at it as when if if a professional says this to me and they are currently like a Marvel artist, I look at that as Marvel saying that to me. If you're just some indie dude doing your own little indie book and you do whatever, it's like, well, you're you and you're representing your indie book. I, I don't have to support you, but you're not representing anything else. Anyways, I, I send this out every Monday and I put a little RT. To re hopefully people retreat, retweet it. And thank you for everyone that does because I don't have a billion followers. You know, I want this to go out and retweeting, it, 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 it just blooms and... Every person I know, you know, that follows me will see my tweet. But then this guy, Michael Anden, thank you for everyone he knows will see his tweet. And if any people retweet it from his, people, you know, and it just blows out there. And that's, I want as much coverage as possible. I want this to be all over. I want this in the SJW's faces every week, right? This is, this is a bombardment. It's a purposeful, not spam, I'm not doing it every day. But it's, I don't want you to forget, it's relentless. You know, I'm going to do this for the indefinite future. I, I believe in this. As long as comics is around, this is something we got to constantly keep throwing out this reminder. And it also helps because every single day, a new person is getting into comics gate, right? There's tons of people. We just saw this with the Mindy Wheeler incident, right? So if you haven't, if you, I'm not going to go into that if you don't know, but Mindy Wheeler had a big blow up and caused a lot of drama and now she's apparently not in Comic Skate or whatever. I don't think she ever understood what Comic Skate was. And there's a lot of people that don't. And then they they'll come in and they'll see, you know, some asshole who happens to be part of Comic Skate and to them that asshole represents what Comic Skate is. So this is important for both aspects. Anyways, long winded Story, thank you guys for posting this. Please continue to retweet it. Um, together, this is what Comics Gate is about, is standing together. Um, Michael Andon, don't know you, but um, he wasn't talking to me here. He was talking to an SJW. Tough enough to join War Campaign. 
Uh, yeah, war campaign is uh, it's too tough for me. Uh, Oz Chris, I like Oz Chris. I follow his channel, by the way. He has a channel. Look at this. I posted. The shills don't stop. CBR, Martian Manhunter number one is one of the best debuts from DC this year. No. Every single New Age of Heroes comic was better than this. There's eight of them. Uh, Batman White Knight was better than this. Uh, what else debuted in 2018? Um, let's see. Oh, Doomsday Clock? Let's not forget about that. What about the new Shazam? Um, yeah, pretty much most every debut is better than this. Now, I didn't trash this. I think this comic is better than a lot of people are saying. <laughs> this is definitely not one of the best debuts. This is just pure shill. Comic book resources, if it's a big two comic, or maybe even image, like they'll just be like, oh, it's the greatest. It's the greatest. Their reviews are anywhere between 80 and 100. They don't review anything less unless it's a, you know, something from Ethan Van Skyver, maybe, then they'll trash it. <laughs> They're just so nonsense. Uh, what else have I been talking about? I'm like, oh, at, what? we didn't come here to watch all this. <sighs> You're right. All right. Back to my comics. Look at my little station here. I got my Stormtrooper bag. My iPad. Oh, and you gotta have Coke and a Darth Vader glass. Because Darth Vader makes everything better. Coke is it. And then I got my... What? What happened to my burger? My comics, my receipt. Yep, kind of a moderate week for me. It's over the budget. I really wish I was paying, but it just goes to show like there's good comics out there you can buy. Um, not not this one though. Oh, man. Yep, yep. Hopefully it's a good roast because I get some entertainment, get some value out of that money. Speaking of value, look what's out. Look what's out, Batman. Detective Comics, Tomasi. Oh, Tomasi. We've been waiting for this. We've been waiting. Woohoo! Continuing the anime, or sorry, the manga style coverings. This one, a full color. Almost looking computer generated, or probably computer artwork. I'm not as big as I wish. I would like to see the style of the previous for uh, for an arc. Speaking of alternate art, look at the Aqua, or Hawkman is getting cool, cool cover art again for the alternate covers. Yeah, this is the origin issue. Origin of new origin of Hawkman. I was at the store. I get to the store. I try to get there by opening at 10 a.m. But today I got there at like 10:30, 10:45, I think. 10:45. There was one issue of this on the shelf, and I go to a big store. Like it's not a little hole in the wall. It's a, it's a big store. Um, and there was one issue, uh, so. That might be, if you're speculating or interested, like you might want to grab that because that's gonna, it might be hard to find. I don't know how other stores are. We got Justice League Dark number six. Yeah, I'm just not into Justice League Dark. Um, not that it's, I don't have anything bad to say about it. I'm just the, the concept of Electric Warriors. Ooh. I feel like I should hear Wild Stallions when I see this. It just reminds me of like old 80s concept, but it's really not. Uh, this is a title. This is a cosmic book of futuristic gladiators. Um, it's got an interesting premise, and I did a review on number one. I'll do probably a review of number two if you're wanting to know more about it. Oh, and certainly not least or last... Batman Who Laughs, this alternate cover, just, come on, come on, come on, Schneider, you better not let us down, Greg Capullo, look, 
come on. Oh, and speaking of Batman, what else came out today? It didn't fit in my box. Boom! All right. The A covers are fine. Yeah, they're, they're good. I didn't like the A cover of this one because it's Harley Quinn and I don't like Harley Quinn. Um, at least outside of the Batman animated series. This, I can't, I mean, the this Jim Lee cover is astounding. And it's, it's just a dude standing there. Like, it's a total just pin up, like, oh, Jim Lee, I'm kind of drug. But the detail that you can't really see very well in his armor, this bag's glare is kind of messing things up. I was like, oh, the last issue, Jim Lee, this issue, Jim Lee. Like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll take these covers. Um, all day. All right. Finally, Oblivion Song number 10. I can't believe 10 issues of Oblivion Song are out. I think I started my channel when issue one was coming out. Um, or right around there. Uh, Trajan. Trajan Channel got me to buy this book. And um, he's also one of the inspirations of this channel. And speaking of which, what happened to Trajan Channel? If any of you guys watch his channel, um, I really love following Trajan. I try to learn from what he does. He's got a great um, cadence to his voice. He doesn't stutter around and sound like an idiot like I do. Um, he's got a good personality. He just makes it fun. Like He just like talks about, here's the comics I bought, and it's like fun to listen to. And that's a really cool sign when you just can take a subject that's utterly boring and make it entertaining. But he's like dropped off the radar. I, I sent him a couple messages on Twitter. He didn't respond. So I don't know what the deal is. Um, but speaking of deal, I just got a really freaking good deal on a Sony PlayStation 4. Uh, I'm an Xbox guy, but now I have a PS4. Super good deal. Um, I have a friend who hooked me up who's got contacts. I won't say more than that, but Spider-Man, the game. Holy crap. Trajan, if you're off playing Spider-Man, I forgive you. I understand. It is so good. It is. You, you get to play Spider-Man. I mean, there's other games that you got to play Spider-Man, but with this, you actually get to play real Spider-Man. Like, it feels like Spider-Man should feel. It's super fun. It's got its own story. Um, it's got kind of its own world. It's kind of like what Christopher Nolan did with Batman and just said, you know what? I'm not going to just try to, like, put it in any existing continuity. I'm making my own continuity, but I'm going to keep the essence of what people like about this character and do it my way. You know, the, the Nolan verse, as we've come to call it. That's what this game is. The uh, is it Naughty Dog? Uh, I can't remember who did it. Um, it's like their verse, but they captured Spider. It. it oh, I can't say enough good things about it. Um, it is so fun. So I got yeah. <laughs> oh, I haven't beaten Red Dead Redemption yet either, but I uh, this couldn't resist. Anyways, it just got me thinking. If you guys haven't played Spider Man. What is wrong with you? You're not a comic geek. Or, or you're just not a PS4 owner. One of the two. Um, Trajan, I don't know where you are, man. Come back. We miss you. We need you. You do good things. I um, hope you're all right. Everyone, thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.